Creating a roof in Revit works pretty much the same way as creating a floor. To start out, go to the tool tray to the left uh, in the basics tab, grab the roof tool. Uh, there are a few different options uh, you can choose. You can create a roof by footprint, by extrusion, or by face. Uh, usually creating a roof by footprint is the easiest and the simplest way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, that'll bring up a window asking me what level I'd like to start drawing the roof at. I'm going to go ahead and choose third floor and click yes. This brings me into a sketch mode where I can draw out the footprint of the roof. To start defining that, um, I could do it one of two ways. I could either click the pick walls tool in the left, uh, in the tool tray, and actually go along and choose the walls which will define the edges of the roof. Or I can choose the lines tool and draw it out manually. Uh, if I wanted a parapet to stick up uh, beyond the roof, um, I'd want to draw on the insides uh, of the walls. Uh, since I've already shown how to draw this footprint out in the floors video, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this step. Once I've drawn a line all around the perimeter of, of the roof footprint, um, I'm going to go ahead and click the finish roof button uh, to the left in the tool tray. Um, and in this case, um, it's prompting me to ask if I want to attach certain highlighted walls to the roof, in this case by columns. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click No. Um, clicking the Finish Roof tool then uh, will finish out the roof. Uh, I'm going to go to a 3D view. And you can see uh, it's drawn a roof, but it's put it on the third floor. Uh, to move that up into position, I'm going to go ahead and select the roof object, go to its Element Properties in the Options bar next to the pull-down menu. Click Element Properties. You can see its base level is set to the third floor. Um, and to move it up, I want to change its offset from that level. So I go to the base offset from level, and instead of zero, I'm going to put in uh, 11 feet in this case. Click OK. And it moves it up. Um, Revit also has automatically def defined a slope um, to all the sides of this roof. Uh, if I want to change that, um, I want to go back into sketch mode to edit that. So I'm going to go back into a view uh, that I can easily work with the roof. In this case, I'll go to the third floor ceiling plan. Um, select the roof object, and once you do, uh, click on the Edit button, which is in the top in the Options bar. That will bring you back into the sketch mode, and you can see that there are little slope icons next to each of the edges defining the roof. To change the slope of each of these edges uh, uses the same logic as changing a dimension for a wall. So that means I first want to grab the edge uh, that I want to change. Grabbing the edge highlights its slope text, which I can then click on and modify. Using this uh, process, I can now go around to each uh, edge of the roof and start changing out its value for slopes that I want. If I don't want it to have any slope at all, um, you notice that the options bar at the top, there's a checkbox that says Define Slope. While I have the edge selected, if I uncheck Define Slope, it takes away the slope icon and that, that will give me a flat spot of the roof. If I wanted the whole roof to be flat, um, I can go through and actually select uh, uncheck the Define Slope option for all the sides. In this case, I'll just take off the slope for the sides and choose this side. And then I'm going to choose Finish Roof uh, to finish the changes. Once I do that, if I go into the 3D mode, um, I can see that it's given me a pitched roof by taking off the slope of just the sides. Now with this pitched roof, if I want to connect uh, these walls up to the top of the roof, um, I want to first choose the wall that I want to bring up. Uh, by choosing the wall uh, in the options bar at the top, top uh, it gives me an option to attach. So after I choose the wall, I'm going to click Attach, and then I'm going to choose um, the object I want it to attach to, in this case, the roof. By doing that, it will actually bring up the roof, or excuse me, the wall to the roof. Um, and I'll go ahead and do this for all the walls. So I'm going to choose the curtain wall in this case. Go to the option bar at the top, click Attach, and then choose the roof. And it actually brings the wall um, all the way up to the roof. Finally, if I want to change the structure um, of the, the roof and section, it works exactly like it does in, in the floor video. I'm going to choose the roof, click on its element properties, click Edit New, and then click Edit next to Structure. Here I can change, insert, and delete layers um, for the structure. 